Hello everyone, it's my great honor to share our experience of participating in this weekly supervised semantic segmentation challenge. We are all from Computer Vision Lab in ETH Zurich. In this challenge, our problem is weekly supervised semantic segmentation. Basically, we need to train semantic segmentation model using only image level labels. Current popular solutions typically follow this pipeline. Firstly, train a classifier by single image data, then generate through the ground truth, and finally train fully segmentation network. However, they all have common limitations. Since they use only single image data, only intra-image information is considered, and the rich cross-image relation is ignored. Our key idea is to use cross-image semantics for comprehensive object pattern mining. As shown in the left of this slide, different from previous methods which only use single image, we use paired images to train our co-attention classifier, which will be introduced in the following presentation. After obtaining co-attention classifier, we generate localization maps shown in the right. Specifically, for one image, we use several extra images which contain common objects as reference for discovering more complete object regions. This slide explains our approach. In the left, it shows our co-attention classifier. In the right, it shows the visualization of localization maps. Simon's network is used to mine the relation between image pairs. Co-attention or contrastive co-attention are used to mine cross-image common or exclusive semantics. We first input the image through a backbone and then co-attention module followed by contrastive co-attention module. For this example, uh, there are cow and person in the image IN, the up one, and there are person and the table in the image IM, the down image. So the common class between two images is the person. And our co-attention module can capture the common semantics, which is person in this case. And our constructive co-attention can discover the cross image unique objects for image IN, the uh, class is cow, and uh, for the image IM, the class is table. As shown in the localization maps, by combining both co-attention and contrastive co-attention, more complete image regions are discovered. Our basic classifier is built in a standard way. We adapt Simon's network and uh, use sigmoid cross entropy loss. The loss for basic class 5 is computed for both image IM and image IN. For mining the cross image relation, we propose co attention and contrastive co attention. For co attention, as mentioned just now, it is used to mine cross-image common semantics. We first compute the affinity matrix P as shown in the first equation. P contains similarity between each location pairs of image IM and IM. Here, FM and FN are the high-level feature maps obtained from image IM and image IN respectively. Then we normalize the P by row or by column and obtain AM and AN so that AM and AN contains the information of co-attention in their rows or in their columns respectively. Next, we generate co-attention features. Those features focus only on common objects between image IM and image IN. So the common class is used to supervise the learning of co-attention features. 
Let's go back to this example. The red circle contains the co attention features, and the blue circle shows the visualization of those features. The common class between two image IM and IN is the person. And the person class is used as the supervision signal to supervise the learning of co attention features. As you can see from the blue circle, by co-attention computation. Not only human face, and the most discriminative part of the person, but also other parts such as legs or arms are highlighted. After computing the co-attention, we compute the contrastive co-attention. It is used to mine the cross-image exclusive semantics. We filter out the common object regions and obtain contrastive co-attention features. Because contrastive co-attention features focus on non-common semantics, unique labels for each image are used as supervision signal. Again, let's go back to the example. The red circle contains contrastive co-attention features, and the blue circle shows the visualization. In this example, the long common class for the first image is cow, and for the second image is table. The benefit of contrastive co-attention is that when the common objects are filled out by the contrastive co-attention, the classifier has a chance to focus more on the rest image regions and discover the unshared semantics in a better way. The final loss of our model is a combination of the previous three laws. After introducing our co-attention classifier, let's have in-depth thinking. From our opinion, our method can be viewed from the perspective of auxiliary task learning. We create two tasks, predict the common and the non-common semantics. We can also see our method from the point of image code segmentation. We use the knowledge of images, share or unshare semantics to provide more supervision. The four steps of our approach is shown here. Firstly, we train the proposed co-attention classifier, and then we obtain localization maps. And next, we use affinity map to generate pseudo ground truth without using salience maps. And then, we use the pseudo ground truth to train fully segmentation model. Finally, let's move to uh, experiments. This plot shows the statistics of this dataset. As you can see, there exists huge class imbalance. After looking deep in the dataset, we found three challenges. The first one is a huge class imbalance across classes. The second one is a huge ratio of negative over positive samples for most classes. The last one is the Lloyd's labels. We develop solutions specifically for those problems. For example, we sample images in a balanced way according to the small classes. Also, weighted sigmoid cross entropy loss is used, and the probability of positive samples for classes are used as weights. For Lloyd's label problem, we refine the labels for training set by first training a strong classifier. Besides, addition trick is used in our approach. Integral attention learning from ICCB19 is adaptive. That's to say, initial localization maps are used as soft labels for learning more integral localization maps. This is the evaluation study. When adding more solutions, the performance of our method gets better and better, and we can reach 45 in validation set. Here shows the results on test set. We rank the first in this challenge. Here we show some segmentation results. That's all for our presentation. Thanks for your attention.